right, lately we have had some questions about grooming, like when to groom, what age to groom, what tools to use with grooming. Should I do it myself? Should I pay somebody to do it for me? Um, so we're gonna try to cover a lot of that in a short little video. I had my little um, assistant, Ren, here. She's in need of a, a bath and a little bit of a trim. She's got some shagginess going on. Now, as far as when to groom your puppy, uh, I like to tell everybody to wait until they're closer to six months of age. Some of the groomers out there may disagree. However, if you do what I'm asking you to do in this video, you, you can wait that long and also have your puppy prepared for the groomer at the same time. Um, what the groomers are wanting is a doodle that is A, number one, prepared and ready and not anxious on the grooming table. Number two, the mats. Yes, any doodle can mat. Um, any long-haired dog can mat. But with a mixture of the poodle, you definitely can have some matting going on with your dog. So what aggravates groomers is when they bring, when you bring your dog in and you say, uh, I want it to have just a little bit of hair taken off and I want it to look um, like it's ready to go in the show ring. But if you have not done your job as the owner by preparing your dog and by grooming your dog, um, you're not going, the, the, the groomer will have no choice but to shave it down. No dog, not even mine. And there are times that I have not groomed enough um, and so they have to stay on the grooming table a little longer than they should. No dog should have to stay on the grooming table for hours on end because I or the owner did not do their job by making sure that all the mats are out. At the very least, you should groom your dog once a week, preferably more than that. Um, and, and, and don't look at it as a chore, one more thing you have to do. Look at it as a bonding experience for you and your dog. It's, it's just time for you and your dog to get used to each other. Um, I feel the mat right there, actually. Did I miss one? I sure did. Look at that. I don't even know if you can see that up close, but that right there is a mat, a pretty big one in her hair. So I'm gonna get that out. See how it pulls that hair? That's not fun. How would you like it for your hair to be pulled that way? It's not fun for them. And this is what part of a mat looks like. And a groomer is not, and you should not expect your groomer to stand on their feet very long grooming your dog just because mats like this need to be coming out. This right here is just this section on the right here. But if you can't use, these are called Greyhound combs. It's a Greyhound comb. They come in this size and a very longer one. For a puppy, I would get this size right now. If you can't do this all the way down and comb through your dog's hair, you have not brushed it well enough. Sometimes people say, oh, well, I brushed it. But if you're just doing this on the surface, if you're just fluffing up the hair on the surface, you're not doing any good. You literally have to get down to the skin and go through the hair. If you cannot do this with your dog with a comb, you're, you're, you're not brushing the deep enough into the fur to get the mats out all the way down there. So, I personally like to keep Ren and my other um, Australians in a longer coat. Um, I just think it looks better. It doesn't mean that you have to. Um, it's whatever that works best for you and your lifestyle. It's coming up summer, so maybe you want to take it a little bit shorter so you won't have to groom such as, so much. And if they're running around playing or if you go to the lake like we do, they're going to get in the water and they'll get dirty. So it may be easier for you to have a shorter cut. And for Wren, if I'm cutting her down, I like to use a tin blade and a one inch comb. I like her fur to be thick and full, even in the summertime. But again, that requires grooming. You just saw me pull out mats because I missed a spot right there and there was a mat right here in the chest. For those of you um, that get matting right behind the ears or around the neck, I know I have a flat nylon collar here because she doesn't normally mat here, but I do get feedback saying that they get mad and really bad right here. A leather rolled collar, a leather round collar helps with that. You may not take it all away, but it does help. Hey buddy, it does help with it. So when do I 
uh, groom my dog. I personally like to wait until they're six months. But, like I said earlier, I don't wait to prepare them for the groomer until they go. So it's up to you as the puppy owner to prepare your dog for a lifelong of grooming. Because let's face it, they're doodles. They're gonna, every six to eight weeks, you're gonna be grooming your dog, okay? Now here at Shadow Pines, we do prepare your puppy. We start bathing them, trimming their nails. They get their face trimmed, their, around their eyes trimmed, their private area trimmed, their paw pads trimmed. Um, so that her hair's flying. Their paw pads trimmed at a young age. So when you leave us, your dog is ready for a groomer or the start of ready for a groomer. You need to finish that. And how you do it is to make sure you brush often. This is a pen brush. If you can look at it. It's got hair, sorry. But. So you don't want to just press down real hard and scratch real hard because I don't know if you can see scratches on the hands, but you go easy. And all these things you can get on Amazon. What I like about this particular brush is when you have hair in it, it's got a button back here and it pushes everything forward and then you can just peel the hair right off. Just peel it off and clean it off. So I do, I really do like that. The next um, type of tool you need is a greyhound brush or comb, excuse me, greyhound comb. Your groomer will forever love you if you get them used to a clipper. Now again, we started that off for you as babies. I love this little clipper. This is what I use for their um, their paw pads. Vibrating. Okay. If you have a dog that's scared of the clipper, don't put this part on. A matter of fact, if this one comes off, you just take it off. It'll still vibrate. It makes more sound with the clipper head on. But if you think it's your dog's going to jump around, take the clipper head off and just lay. Cover the clipper part and lay this all over your dog. Let them feel the vibration all over. Do this from the start of bringing your puppy home. This gets them used to the sound. This gets them used to the, the vibration on their body. You, what you're doing is you're desensitizing your puppy or your dog to what scares them the most, okay? Um, just rub it all over and spend five minutes a day. Give them a treat if they're quiet and still not bouncing around moving. Um, if you don't have this, here's another tool. Everybody knows what this is. Of course, I took the top off of it. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> toothbrush base. They are still the same type of vibration. So if you don't have a clipper, use the base of a toothbrush, electric toothbrush. Let them feel all of that everywhere, all down their legs. Let them feel it on the bottom of their paw pads because that's where they get trimmed. Very useful. Okay, here's another thing, drying your dog. You don't have to have a professional hair grooming dryer to um, get your dog used to a dryer and you don't have to only do it while you're once you bathe them um, Just blow the hair dryer on them Every other day once a week something get them used to that dryer if your dog is Won't be still and is fighting you or it doesn't like it around its ears. I Know it looks kind of funny, but let them wear this right here and it protects their ears from any loud sounds or noise noises and makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. You look cute. You look cute. Yes, you do. Take this off, girl. Okay? So, um, how many times should you wash your puppy? Now, of course, if they love playing in mud puddles, then you don't have a choice but to wash all the dirty parts. Try your best not to wash your dog at the most once a week. I, I wouldn't even, I'd, I'd try to wait as long as you can, once a month. Because the more you wash, the, their skin gets super dry and they get irritated and then you're going to start seeing them scratch and next thing you know you're going to the vet going okay what's wrong my dog has fleas ticks no their skin is just dry you've irritated it so much with all the um harsh chemicals that may or may not be in your shampoo so uh you can wash off the dirty parts you can see her little white paws are not very white <laughs> she needs to be washed but that's okay all right so that's it we want you to uh, brush your puppy out. Start the day you get him home. Bond with your dog. Teach him what things not to be afraid of. It's not your groomer's job to teach him how to behave on a grooming table. 
It's your job. It's your job to teach them how to be sick, lay quietly in a crate. Not your vets or not your border. Um, and, and I know I'm not trying to rub anybody wrong. I'm just I'm speaking facts. If you're going to own, own a doodle or any dog, but if you're going to own a doodle, it comes with grooming. These dogs and any other dog that requires trimming of their hair is going to need your attention. They're going to, it's going to need you to manage, help manage this um, hair. And like I said, it's bonding experience with you and your dog. Oh, your, your groomer is going to love you for it because it's a better experience at the groomer. And, you know, if there's any groomers out there, if you have any tips, now I would appreciate it if you would be, you know, nice about it. Don't bash my customers and don't bash doodles. We're not here to do that. Um, I'm trying to educate customers and groom, doodle owners so that this experience would be good for the dog first and foremost and then the groomer. So, um, if you groomers out there, if you have any tips that I might can pass along to my customers, they are welcome. Okay? I hope this helps. Um, and Ren, thank you for being my, my um, little model here. You did good. You a good girl. I think you need a treat. You wanna go get a treat? Yeah, okay. All right guys, thank you and um, I will see you soon.